Hi students, welcome to the second week of school. We're still focusing on verbs, but this week we're looking on the second person singular, meaning you. So you are going to learn how to say you run, you jump, etc. We use the second person singular when we want to say you. And in Spanish, you is tú with an accent. To conjugate the verbs in the second person singular, we follow these steps. For AR ending verbs, we remove the AR, then add an AS. For ER ending verbs, we remove the ER, then we add an ES. For IR ending verbs, we remove the IR, then we add an ES. So let's practice with an AR ending verb. Remember, all you're going to do is take off the AR, then you're going to add an AS. The AR ending verb llorar means to cry. So remember, we're going to remove the AR and then we're going to add an AS because we want to say you cry. So when we remove the AR, we end up with LLOR. Then step two, we're going to add an AS. So when we add the AS, we end up with yoras. So we would get two yoras. It's very simple. All we did was to take off the AR and then we added an AS. Try this one for yourself. How would you conjugate the AR ending verb escuchar? Now, escuchar means to listen. So how would you say you listen? One eternity later. The correct answer is tu escuchas. Remember, all we did was to remove the AR, then we got escuch, E-S-C-U-C-H, then we added the A-S, so we got escuchas. Now, I'm sure everybody got that right. So, let us do an ER ending verb. Remember, all you're going to do is to remove the ER, then you're going to add an ES. The ER ending verb correr means to run. So, to conjugate correr in the second person singular, we're going to simply remove the ER and then we're going to add an ES to the verb. So, when we remove the ER, we get C-O-R-R. And then we add an ES, so we get corres. So, the answer would be tu corres. Try one for yourself. The ER ending verb comer means to eat. How would you conjugate comer to say you eat? So the correct answer is comes. All we did was to remove the ER, then we ended up with C-O-M-E. Then we added an E-S, so we got comes. So the answer would be tu comes. Let us do an example with an IR ending verb. Remember, all we're going to do is to remove the IR, and then we're going to add an E-S to the end of the verb. The IR ending verb escribir means to write. So when we remove the IR, we end up with escrib, E-S-C-R-I-B. Then we add an E-S. When we add the E-S, we get escribes. So the answer, tu escribes. The IR ending verb vivir means to live. Remember, all you have to do is to remove the IR and then add an ES. So simple. So the answer is tu vives. All we did was to remove the IR, we got viv. Added an ES and we got vives. Ahora vamos a repasar. Let us review. In Spanish, whenever you want to say you run, you jump, you sing, etc., we need the second person singular. In Spanish, that is tú, with an accent over the U. For verbs ending in AR, we simply take off the AR, then we add an AS. For ER ending verbs, we remove the ER and then we add an ES. For IR ending verbs, we remove the IR and then we add an ES. Follow those steps. 
you have an activity to do and it will be posted separately. Adios students. I'm no good at goodbyes.